So we have a finalised version of our map painting here and I want to start saving out the individual items that I'm going to project over in Maya and I need to save out a colour version of them and a black and white version. So an RGB version and an alpha version of each layer that I want to project. So I'm just going to take a look at doing one of those here and the one I'm going to take a look at doing is this car just here. So I'm going to turn everything else off and the easy way to do that is just hold the alt key and click on the eyeball for that particular group. Now I'm not going to worry about the uh, fire that I painted in here. So there's two versions of the car. This is one without motion blur and this one here is one with motion blur. So I'm going to go with the one with motion blur just to give a feel that it's moving on the Maya side. So I need to save out an RGB version of it and I can do that by going to file save as. I'm going to save as a TIFF and I'm going to go into color corrected here and I'm going to save it out as car underscore RGB and I'm going to overwrite the version that I had saved earlier. I want to have consistent naming for all of my files because I will have quite a few uh, so that will save confusion later on and I'm going to hit save here. It's going to ask me to replace and that's fine. I want to make sure save transparency is turned on and I want to make sure that I discard layers and save a copy. And that should be fine. I'm going to click OK there. And that's that one saved out. Now the other uh, version of this particular image that I need to save out is a black and white alpha. And in class we had looked at going image apply image. And that's not going to work so well in this case. Uh, I can try inverting it here but I'm not getting the black and white uh, image that I had expected to get. Uh, so that's not really working for me. But I don't need to worry too much about playing around with uh, the supply image setting. Really what I need to end up with is a black and white version of my RGB channels. So the easy way to do that in this case is to first off just make a new layer, put it underneath, hit D for uh, default colors, make sure that black is in the background, hit Alt and sorry black is in the foreground, hit Alt and backspace and that color is in the background uh, black for me. And then the next thing I need to do then is just color in my car in white pixels. So if I hold the control key or the command key and click on the thumbnail, it will make the selection for me. And I can hit X to uh, reverse my colors, hit Alt and Backspace again. And now it has colored in those pixels white. I can hit Command and D to get rid of my selection. And I can hit Command and E to merge down those layers. And now I have a black and white version of this car layer which I can use for an alpha over in Maya so I can go file I can go save as go into my folder here and I'm going to save it out as car underscore a for alpha dot tiff make sure it is actually set to tiff here it is not just good enough to write the extension in Photoshop hit save I'm going to replace the one that's there discard layers and save a copy I can't hit save transparency here and that is because there is no transparent pixels in this particular image. All of the pixels are colored in, either black or white. So I can click OK there. And that is my alpha saved out. Now I need to go and do that for all of the other layers I want to project. And once I've got that done, I can start hooking them up on the Maya side. And that is a quick recap on how we put out our RGB and our alpha channel for each projection layer.